We are live with Brookie and Jesse here. Actually. Whoa! We're back. Hi. Hi. Mob wife evening. Cheers. Cheers, partner. Me and Jess really have a thing about eye contact when we cheers people. I've noticed it when we're out. Well, it's because of dinner. The no, I know, but we are we're on it. Oh yeah. I yeah, look yeah. around and some people do a little No. We are like yeah, I, I will address every well, single person. Well, if someone doesn't address table. me, I'm like, excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Tell the vlog what time you woke up this morning. 11.45. I never sleep in. That's really good for you. It's you We've moved. It. We've and moved. you were fell asleep well last night. Yeah, I, I was like so tired. But I slept with my face mask. You know that silk oh. one that goes like all the way down. It's like a oh, whole yeah, yeah, face type got, thing. Who yeah. is that? Go on in. No, 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 no. We got it gifted. From like a silk oh. company and it's so good. Should I, I get it? Mine. Should I show you? Good, yeah, they're good for the airport. They're so good. Airport times. Oh, I didn't want a boot blender. Do you want me to get it? Was that him? No, I got it. I didn't wet it. Oh. Can you wet it? Do you it? like me to wet it? <laughs> yes, please. Charlotte Tilbury. Thank you. Um, this is the mask. What? Is that how you wet your boot blender? Yeah. Is that genuinely how you do that? Yeah. Are you joking? No. Well, yeah, she just, she just like, she just like poured a bit of drip onto it. I, I like it. soak it. No, I like it's wet it on your face. Yeah, then the foundation goes in so much better. That's really? why, it, that's why it expands. Is yeah, but then it's just wet. Yeah, and it proper blends your foundation out. Oh. That's not how I do it around here. Yeah. But guys, look at this. So this is what I sleep in now, and it really gives me like the full 12 hour experience. So soft, I have to find out where it's from, but like- It says it on the back, Dr drowsy. Drowsy, and it's so good. So yeah, I slept like- Look how much bigger that is. 12 well. hours? Oh, that expands it. I didn't know that, sorry. Anyway, um, I won't be doing that though, it seems wrong. So hi, so hi, we're getting ready for a little dinner. A little bit Mob of dinner. wife dinner. Mob wife themed. So our makeup's gonna be grungy. Yeah, I mean, not me slugging it off in orange and arts, and here I am. <laughs> so this is why you should yeah, never listen to anything I say. You're coming to the mob, like you yeah, didn't I plan it. Yeah, I mob wife dinner. I also do think it's a fun idea though, so I, I'm not slugging it off. Mob wife theme means tonight I'll be in cinematic red. Are you actually cinematic? Yeah. Oh, you got your Charlotte Tilbury pouch as well. Yeah, well, oh, do you know what's annoying? What? I think I gave, I gave my sister a lot of like little makeup stuff and I think I gave her, you know that e.l.f. lip oil, clear lip oil? Yeah, that's good. Which I wanted to keep, but I can't strip back now. So anyway, because I was like, I want a glossy red, I don't want a matte red. But I found this lip oil. That's good. Which is like, that's, is that Clinique? No, Clarins. Oh, oh, it's in New York actually. I like that. But um, I feel like that'll do the job. So someone is stealing our packages. Yours. Correction. My packages. Only Brooks. Jess gets her packages every single week. I think it's, well, this is from our old place, not the new one. No, someone's been stealing in, in, in the old building and we know that there's stealing going on. Yeah, and um, but mine never gets stolen. So there's been like, not even, not loads, but like three packages, Three I'd packages say. where we're, like, we're both packages. on the mailing list for the same thing. Yeah, like we definitely both got sent them, but Brooks never make it. And someone's definitely stealing they Brooke's never packages. Come to me. And mine always arrive. I think they think I'm at, like Brooke Blewett. Okay, well, she never notices the, the packages are gone, so let's keep taking hers. Yeah, maybe. They did it once and they're like. But honestly, I haven't like, received stuff. And I see Jessica and I'm like, what like the that hell, man? Okay, you'll definitely have been sent it, but where is it? And I said, I'll just love you more. <laughs> I don't think so. But um, hopefully, we don't have that issue in the new, in the yeah, new place. Yeah, it feels a bit more safe. Actually, I have a package today. I'm going to do what you did because I've reached through the mini blender. Oh, you just said you would never do that. No. Don't listen to anything I say. Were you allowed makeup at your school though? It was the whole clear mascara thing, but everyone would just do makeup anyway. Really? We used to get baby wiped. Like baby? genuinely, oh my yeah. God. I got handed a baby wipe, which was like scrub. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> scrub, bitch. And I was like, I haven't got makeup on, I promise. And I was trying to do that thing where you fake, um, where you fake rub it, you know, I was like this. And not actually touching my face, she was like, be for real. Um, oh my God. But yeah, we weren't allowed makeup at all. Uh, unless you have, I think this is so like weird. You, think you were only allowed makeup if you got it approved by the head teacher. If you were like insecure about your skin, what? But you had to go to the head teacher and be like, "I please let me, please let me use concealer." Like, 
I'm really insecure about my skin. Do you think that's really weird? That's really weird. I don't like, like that. Like, I don't understand what did you how... Go? I guess yeah, it, it's, it's, it's more of a faff, isn't it? It's like you have to go out of your way. Also, like, how is like how is me wearing a bit of concealer like, affecting you? And then it was that thing of like, I don't know if this is from my school, but I remember like it used to be like, a big a big topic of conversation on like Twitter and stuff about like people not being allowed to wear makeup and stuff. They used to say the teachers like were like because it like it's distracting. Like for who? It's not distracting. If it's I, distracting for you. That's an issue. That's you, a you problem. That's what I mean. That's a them thing. I always always think if you want to make, wear makeup, you can wear makeup. Like, what's it got yeah, to do with actually learning anything? I don't understand that. Oh like, my god, that's actually understand. such a fair point. Like, why did we have? Why weren't we allowed to wear makeup? I don't know. Very odd. Where is my oh. can see my um, contour? Also, I went to Space MK today, mm. and um, I asked them to colour match me a concealer because mm. I wanted to get a try a new range that I saw. Because it's good for like eczema, mm -hmm. and um, she like tried the concealer on me. It's been like half an hour of her like matching the colour to my face and everything, and then she goes, "Oh, that one's out of stock." Like, oh, what the so hell? She sat there like, "Where from? Where did you want to try it from?" Um, by Terry. Apparently, it's really good, that. like hydraulic. Um, G Georgia did it on me because I said I had dry uh, skin, and okay. it's really good for dry skin. Oh, so it's really expensive, it. but I wanted to try it. I was like, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll splash the cash just for this yeah. one time. Brilliant. And then she was like, oh, it's not in the stock. That's so annoying. Like, every time I go to Space NK, I don't, they don't have anything I want because it's always sold out, like the drunk elephant drops, That's like everything. when I went to Sephora. All I, all I want is a new um, refined brow thing, and I've been after one for ages, and I keep going to Sephora, and I've never, ever got it in stock. So annoying. I know. I really need it as well. I'm like so run out. I guess it's because we all want the same thing, don't yeah, we? Yeah, so. I've got them drunk elephant drops though, and I've never tried them. Really? Because I don't understand when I'm meant to use them. What do you mean? I feel like, well, I'm not going to use it as foundation because I'll use foundation as foundation. I thought the drops were just like really? the night before tanner. No, people don't like wear it for the day. Oh, yeah, I know. That's interesting. Yeah, I know. So I don't really, I guess. In my head, I was like, well, I guess the only time I'd ever use it is like on holiday if I wanted to look like I've got no makeup on, but I wanted a tanned oh. face or a, a like all one complexion. Oh, that's, I completely got that wrong then. I'm kind of glad I didn't get them. I yeah, they were like a tanner overnight. No, I don't, well, I don't know. That's my understanding. Sorry, we just need to address. It's <gasps> not a scam! It's not a scam! We've got guys, there's four chairs. It came. I, I started to panic. I'm not going to lie because Jess was like, it's a scam. I was like, absolutely no, it's not. I did start to think it's a scam, but I didn't want to tell Jess. But they're here, yeah, but they came in loads of parts. So we've built one chair, let me show you. Yeah. Not gonna lie, they're a lot smaller side. than I hoped. But it's fine, like they're still perfect. They feel like kids play chairs. Um, we built this. It matches the kitchen. Perfectly. Where'd you put my makeup up here? So we've got three more to build, but we're buzzing. I'm so proud around. of us for building that. Um, TV cabinet's been built. Yeah, but you know what? But we've got always, the doors. There's always something a little it bit wrong, wrong when we do it. There's no doors because we had to order them separately, which we didn't realise. So he also did. I asked in the shop. I went, "Is that everything to build this picture, this image here?" And he's like, "Yeah." So I don't think I realise some people awful. are just like. I think he was just like, maybe he just couldn't be bothered. But also like. I'm just a girl. Also, it's annoying. We need help. Like, I don't know. When we're, TV left, yeah, when we're left alone to like pay bills and stuff, we do sometimes think we're like, how is this okay? Oh, uh, <laughs> ah, there go. Oh, I hate that one. There's only a little bit. What is there. that foundation? A uh, Mac. Oh. I always remember for prom, I had, I wore um, Giorgio Armani foundation. Like it's bougie for prom. Yeah, the makeup artist, it, like, it wasn't mine. But I remember thinking it was the best foundation ever and I've wanted to try it ever since to see whether it actually was or whether I just didn't know at the time. And that was, uh, do you know what I mean? But it's like, um, Ash uses it and Ash's skin looks flawless on my What? Yeah. Giorgio Armani. Giorgio Armani. No, just, I thought she used Estee Lauder. Maybe she does use Estee Lauder. I just use I guess Estee Lauder. Because the Estee Lauder one's so thick. And like when I was dancing and stuff, I genuinely like did not go red, did not. Really? Yeah, I don't really go red when I dance. I never see you go red. I used to go red so much in college. I look over and Jess hasn't even broken a sweat. No. Just I'm just, I'm just there. Oh, we went to the gym the other day, guys. We, we haven't been able to walk for two days. And all we did no, was... No, it's like day three and we're like... We're still wobbling. hobbling. Like, we're we hobbling both had to go the up the stairs on the tube and we went... Oh! We're like, and everyone looked around at us. 
It was, it, I'm so sore. It's because we haven't been in a while and it really catches up on you. We, we did the splits once for five seconds and we were like in pain. Yeah. We're also in our skipping era. Like I feel like skipping is our real, we're like that's what the box, well. I feel like Rocky when I'm like training. Apparently it's so good for you. Yeah. I love skipping. Do you know, I remember last night, did you ever have a Wii Fit? Yeah, I did. Do you remember the hula hoop one? Did you ever yeah, play the hula no, hoop I one? Oh my God, me and my sister were talking about it last night. And I was like, I miss doing the Wii Fit. Like, I would so get a Wii Fit. What? Did you actually have a real hula hoop? No, it was the game. You got this, and then you got this to catch the hula hoop. And then you catch, and you get like 30 hula hoops. <laughs> I'm like, cool. I've been like this. I was so good at it. Oh, I was at the skiing fun. one. I am. Um, I went to Wii bowling. And have you seen the Wii tennis ones that people yeah, on TikTok people recreate? Yeah, people recreate it. It's so good. Oh, um, beef that I bet you haven't seen. Between. Try me. Right, okay. Tell me who. You haven't told me who. Yeah, but like, there's so much beef in the world. Go on, suggest one. Current. From TikTok? Yeah, current beef. They're celebrities. Um, Kylie Jenner. No. Brian, I don't know. Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Why? <gasps> I don't know what the beef is, so we need to research, but Nicki's like, res uh, no, Megan's like responded with a rap. <laughs> I think it's like, it's like rap beef. Like, Megan's come back with a verse. What? And everyone's like, Megan ate her up. And then Nikki tweeted something about like, I don't know. What responded kind of like, to one of Nikki's songs from her album? I, I guess, I don't know. What I'm guessing is that one of Nikki's songs was like a diss to Megan Thee Stallion. A diss track. Yeah, and then Megan's come back with a, a, a song about Nikki. And then Nikki's come back on Twitter being like, blah, 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 blah. And Megan's staying silent. Really? But I don't actually know what's going on and what they're beefing about. Okay, well we need to get but they're beefing. Beef. So that's so interesting. Culture. But I always wonder if it's like PR. Like I always wonder, like because yeah. everyone starts talking about it. Do you know what I mean? <gasps> I share a birthday with Meg Thee Stallion. Do you actually? Yes. Fifteenth of Feb, baby. That's what you so, know. Who else do you share a birthday with? Like no one else. I just know Megan Thee Stallion. What are you? I share the birthday with David Henry. Who's that? Justin from Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh. Is he coming back? Wizards of Waverly Place too coming back. Well, is he? It or is. No? Him and Selena are confirmed. Uh, what about the dad? Well, I don't know sure he dad. shared it, so I was like, yeah, he's quite sure, active, isn't he? He's so like, active and he, I feel like, like, he loves it. He kind of only ever talks about that. Yeah. So I'm like, you must be. Like, you love it. I saw him on a podcast with Harper. Yeah, what? Well, I don't Harper. know. I don't know if she's coming back. I think she I talked about it too, so she should. I saw a on a podcast with David Henry and Harper. I don't know how. I think they have no, a podcast Henry, together. The dad. Yeah, the dad and the half. I think they have a podcast oh. together. And she said that Selena was confirmed to be the girl in Camp Rock. But gave, yeah, gave I saw it up that. to give it to Demi Lovato. But like, why would she do that? I know. And then obviously there wasn't like a big name for it. So then they had to... They were the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, it was another guy. And they swapped him for the Jonas Brothers. And they were known, but not that well known. Yeah, because Demi and um, Selena did... Uh, Barney, Barney together. Yeah, I went to the Barney tour. I think. Did you actually? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, we need to trust the dishwasher. I came <laughs> up with a brilliant theory. Okay, so we had stuff in the dishwasher. Then we meant to take it out, but then more stuff needed washing. And I was like, why don't we just leave it in? Like, why doesn't it just go round and round in a cycle? Why does it like... just always be left in until we need it? You, there's no harm in it being too clean. And I was like, Jess, that's genius. Why don't we just start storing all our cups and stuff in the dishwasher? And then it'll just always be really clean. Because you wouldn't be wasting water because you're only putting it on when when, everything needs to go when on. it actually needs to go on, the new stuff, if, and if there's room. If there's not room, you start taking, that's when you start taking it out. I think I'm going to do something like this. Like, black underneath but still a wing. Okay, yeah. That's, what I mean. that's kind of what I'm going to do, like, tinier. Yeah. This, that is the mob wife look. Focus. There we go, there we go. I always get like so embarrassed doing um, TikToks where I'm trying to look good. I yeah, don't know why, same. but it cringes me out. But like everyone else does it, and I don't get cringed out by anyone else. But no, when it's me. But I never get cringed out by your videos, so that's Yeah, I never get really. cringed out by yours, but like. It's like, am I trying to do a thirst trap? Like, who do I think I am? Like, like I, I get think so cringed out. I think that's a you thing. Yeah, I think it's a me thing That's too. But like so every funny. time I try to look nice, I'm like, and then I have to pull a weird face just to, to lighten yeah. lighten the mood of, of the TikTok. Just lighten the mood. Like it's you go on. Oh no, foundation. It's alright. And um, there's this TikTok I did the other day, and it was like um, a lip sync to this sound. Anyway, but it was like 
not first shot vibes, but like, you know when you're just like, you're just lip syncing and trying to look nice. Yeah. And I watched it back, I was like, I don't think I can post it because it's... I'm yeah, trying to show me. I bet it's I bet it's good. But I know what you mean. Yeah, I, hate I get so cringed out by it. I you know what is the same energy, which what? I find really cringe, when you get your makeup done like by a makeup artist and they ask for a little video or like a fashion. I video. don't know how to handle the hell. I, I don't know what to I do. I don't know what to do like, with it. Like I'm like and I like I look to the side, I look to the right, look to the left. And then I feel like your forward. video is good though. But yeah, but I felt so old. Twenty two minute mark. Oh Twenty my god. I need to blend that. I, I did um, tanning drops the other day and they really didn't help me. They really weren't good for me because they all it stuck around my mouth. You know, it like hangs around your mouth. Like it's like, oh really? Maybe look like I had a moustache. <laughs> um, what were we saying before? Oh yeah, um, when, uh, and I was just, I, I just like, looked to the right, looked to the left and then. It didn't look awkward though. No, but I really felt, awkward. felt awkward. Yeah, but that's the same as you. I bet it doesn't look awkward. Yeah, maybe. It's maybe the it's same energy. We should get so cringed out by it, by trying to look good, but like literally, ev that's literally what TikTok is almost for everyone. Yeah. Everyone else is doing it, I'm like, woo, like, gassing everyone else up, but when I do it, I'm like, I feel ill looking at that. Yeah. Maybe I just need to post it and then never watch it again. Yeah, I think you should. I think you should post okay. it and have fun. Just post it. Have fun. Aww. Charlotte Tilbury should have that quote up. Like, no. Well, well, she should, and then have Brooke and Jess underneath, yeah. and then Charlotte Tilbury underneath that. Yeah, that's that. what I mean. I really don't like when... I do line my lips and it does the cupid's bow. I really don't suit it. I've noticed. So I always I always join them but... together. Yeah, I think you suit both. But no, I did it the other day and I just really hated it. Isn't it weird? Because like I bet there's some stuff that I think oh my god, Brooke suits us so much that you hate. Yeah, same vice versa. Yeah. Also, we don't really wear the same types of tops. You really suit like boat tops, boat neck, boat neck, and like short sleeves. I yeah, cannot too. wear them. Why? Just because they don't suit me. I know it's the same thing. Like we're the same. I yeah. have the same like body type almost, yeah, but we just don't. Yeah, I don't is. suit those things. I like I but suit I what I suit. You do, but you just don't like them. But I do feel like, a bit like a ballerina in a boat neck. Yeah, I feel like it makes you look really put together. Like you look slick with a boat neck. Yeah, I agree. Oh, guys, okay. you know what we started? <gasps> Dance life. No. If anyone's not watched Dance Life, especially if you're a dancer, but even if you're not, you have to watch it on Amazon Prime. Run, run to it's Amazon Prime. It's so good. We're only in episode two. We're waiting for Janine for the other episode. Yeah, we started watching it with Janine. Now we can't watch it without her but, because that would be mean. It really reminds us of college. It's actually crazy, like what is so important at college, and then yeah, it's not important yeah. anymore. But watching the kids, like, like they're like have to get into Jazz One, and we literally sat like, do you remember that being the be all and end all of life? What set you were in for whatever? Yeah, and then and now no I don't even remember what set I was even in. Literally, no one cares. Like, it never goes on your CV. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At the time, it's the biggest deal in the world. But watch Dance Life and just think that was pretty just at college. So many things I look back and I'm like, wow, I got through that. Like, I'm so proud of myself because it's so easy to forget. Like, it's so easy to yeah. forget what college was even like. We were actually talking to our friend Eris the other day about like. We were just talking about her life and she was saying, oh, she lived in New York, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, does that feel like you? Does that feel like you did that? And she was like, no. And I was like, that's how I feel like with, with something like college. I feel like, who lived that life? Like, I can't believe I've had time to do that. Yeah. How did I fit that three years in? Yeah. Like, I just feel like I'm, I'm in a different, that we studied Even as a then, kid, we, like, I don't know, like competition yeah. kid. I'm like, God, that, that was an era of your life. Yeah. It is mad to think that we lived in that cottage for three years. We yeah. like, lived in Epsom, we did all of that. That was our life. I, I felt like we were years. almost in a bubble. We were away from the world for three years. It's kind of like, yeah, you're not in the main world. You're in the dance no, world. You're in your own little bubble. Even like, we lived in Cheltenham for two months. That's random. That's random. Like, That's when really did we random. have the time to fit that in? I just think like, how have we lived so much life so far? That's, That's crazy. So true. I so Same as Eris, like living in New York for a whole year. Yeah, like when like whoa, I'd love to be at that person to be like, yeah, I lived in New York for a year. Yeah, I'd I like. I want to just. I want to be that person when it gets to, like you're eighty and you've you've had all these you've life. Had, you can actually like, say that you did. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to live in New York not for a year, for maybe like three, three months, months. You always say. Yeah, I think that would be. I would do three months in New York. I don't know quite what I'd do. Well, this is the thing. It's like similar to London. So it's like we've got all our connections in London. Yeah, like. I don't actually know what I'd do. I reckon either. if we didn't have anything to do, we'd get bored like after. Yeah, I agree. Three weeks. And I, I do think, well, am I just saying that because I just want to say I've done that? Probably. Yeah, probably. Not because I actually want to. 
Yeah, because I love saying, going to New York for a trip. I love going to New York for a holiday, but like, yeah. But not to, like. Well, I think it's just so similar yeah. to London, but a little bit different. Yeah, it's just like London, like. But extreme. London has my heart, so I know. I love London. Do you want to stay here for like forever? Like, do you want to live central London forever or no? No, I don't think so. I think I'll live central London for the next ten years. Yeah, and then I think I'd either live on the outskirts of London. Do you go back to Essex? Maybe. Really? I love Essex. Maybe, but also I love the idea of like so close to London. Huh? Just somewhere like Essex, close to London, that I can get into London in like an sure. hour. Not Epsom, obviously, but Surrey is lovely. No, Surrey is beautiful. Somewhere like Surrey. Yeah. What about you? Would you go north? I, I don't. I don't know if I could ever move north, north again because I love London. Yeah. It's a hard one, isn't it? Well, I do love Manchester, and that's so easy to get to London. Yeah. I would do maybe do Manchester, but I would probably do same outskirts of London. Yeah, just so maybe. you can get into London. Like I. Yeah. I can't see myself like raising a family in. No, London. I couldn't. No. I always think that, like, where were we sat the other day? We were in this cafe in Marlebone and we sat opposite a primary school and we were like, could you imagine your kid, know. like, just, just, like, going to a school there? To be fair, I, was, I did go to school in Marlebone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always forget. No, <laughs> primary school. Like, yeah, primary school. Like, they were, like, children, children. Yeah, like, on their scooters, like, going down yeah. London High Street. To me, that's, like, a simulation. That's, like, yeah, like, that's, what? like, you're not real. You're literally Sims. It's funny, though. When I went to school, Sims, it's called Sims. Simulation. <gasps> No. Oh my god, that's probably why it's called Sims. Should we research it? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god, am I a genius? That, is that Sims. actually... Surely that's why. I think it is. It makes complete sense. It was first called Doll's House, but first teenage boys had no interest in a video game with such a feminine name, so the name was changed to Sims after the tiny unseen people that live in the cities created Sim City. It, the prefix sim began with sim city it's short for simulation oh, oh my god, god. that's wow. sick wow me your brain that's sick no i bet no one knows that i mean yeah. you heard it here first oh my god what the hell i love them what are they called that's not right is it it's an aneurysm don't sound sexual yeah it doesn't sound quite right what are they called when they put the two words together, like sand is sea and land? Sand, because it's in the middle. A brain aneurysm um, is a swollen, weakened region in the wall of the artery of the brain. <laughs> is that an aneurysm? <laughs> Did my brain have an aneurysm? <laughs> what the hell? Um, what's them things called? Do you know what I keep seeing on TikTok? I don't know what you were going to say before, but yeah. I was just saying I love them one, them words that, um, like sea, sea and land. sand, but I don't know what they're called, but like I love them kind of words. Yeah, me um, too. Have you seen on TikTok the people in the olden days used to have to get what's it called? Like an operation in their brain to like numb it. What? Oh my god, what's it called? I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? Wait, I'm gonna have to Google it because people what? used to have to get if they were like had something deemed wrong with them. Yeah, the women would have to like literally go into an operation to like do something to the brain wait olden days where did you hear this tiktok <laughs> women tiktok is where we get brain our information lobotomy do you know what a lobotomy is no wild let me tell you about a lobotomy i'm so, just a bit scared this is all over my tiktok at the minute this is my whole few pages about lobotomies You've left the Korean okay. side of TikTok. Yeah, I'm on the bottom of TikTok. Okay. okay, so it's a type of brain surgery that involves severing the connection between the fun frontal lobe and other parts of the brain. And it became popular in the 1930s as a treatment for mental health conditions, right? While lobotomies caused some people with mel mental illnesses to become calmer, they also frequently caused like significant changes in personality and stuff. But they don't happen anymore. Okay, yeah, so women um, used to have to get like lobotomies because their husbands found them too opinionated or too independent or too assertive and they would go what? get a lobotomy, like they would have to go get a lobotomy. Um, but, and then a TikTok came up and it was like, reasons you might, you would have maybe got a lobotomy in the olden days and it was stuff like that, I swear to God, everyone could have put a finger down for one. 
Oh my and god. And it's, it's like Wait, wild. And like, like, so what? It would change their brain forever? It, it would actually change them as a person. Like, it was like, what I... What go look heck? it up, guys. Go on, get on the bottom of your TikTok. It's crazy. I can't believe, like, that used to happen. And it was the, a form of mental health treatment. Like, put that needle there. Like, <gasps> I don't actually know what they do. Like, that was her before, that was her after. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, like... Oh my god. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Like, it like fully changes your personality. It changes everything. Like, what the fuck? Like, after some people like couldn't used to feel emotions anymore. Like, it was like, I don't know, I was just like wild. And anyway, that's all over my few pages at the minute. That is one I'm such a TikTok. random thing to be on your TikTok. But also, that's that's actually so scary that that was even a thing. And that was like fully like legal. I think, anyway. Oh don't quote me on all the women take place. their husbands to get a lobotomy? No. Well, I don't think so. I'm, not, I'm only on women lobotomy TikTok. That's so so mad. But how crazy is that? Like that's actually so wild. But I wonder, like, if there'll be anything we look back on in another hundred years. Yeah, be like, oh my god, I can't believe that. Like, I can't that. believe. Yeah. I made Brooke and Janine the other night do a personality test. Oh, MBTI. MBTI. Because when I was on Korean TikTok like three days ago, like three days ago, I learned that apparently. MBTIs in Korea are like just as important as like asking for someone's star sign so they'll say what's your MBTI and like they will actually ju kind of judge you off it and it's basically your personality type so you can take this quiz it went viral on TikTok in like lockdown um, and I remember doing it then and I remembered my answer but I was like I'm going to redo the quiz like I wonder if I'll get the same and I got the exact same answer but anyway made Brooke and Janine do it and then my and can... Janine's pretty similar but because Janine's completely different to Jess's yeah Brooke and Janine were ENF J? T. No, we were, oh, we were J-N-T. Yeah, no, so you were E-N-F-J, you were T. Oh, right. And Ginny was E-N-F-J-A. Okay. Um, we anyway, were the protagonists. Both, both E-N-F-J. And I was I-N-T-J. I and found out, um, like, I feel like 80% with my heart. It just feels like 80% with her brain. Yeah. Like, we could, me and Jess could not have been we, any We were so, it was like me, Janine and Brooke. Like, we were so different. But anyway, you can, um... I like read it out like I did a presentation on it um, and then you can see what kind of characters like fictional characters and celebrities have your personality type so it's really cool because you had I had Harry Styles proudly I have Harry Styles with a spoon Reese Witherspoon I had Moana Moana yeah <laughs> mine was like really like fun personality people I had character wise I had Wednesday Adams Maleficent but uh, celebrity wise, I actually had um, Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei. I didn't know that was his name. Isaac Newton, Mark Zuckerberg, Stephen Hawking. So I basically found out I'm a genius. You're a secret genius. Which is kind of wild. And I'm Ooh. just a fun, loving personality. <laughs> I hope I can be both. I, I kind of don't just want to be a genius. I hope I've got something else about me. I kind of want to be a genius and a fun loving person. Yeah. I kind of be both. Guess who we bumped into? We were at Chilton Firehouse, which we'd never been to before, but it was so lovely. Just for a coffee, for a chai latte. Gigi Hadid and Bradley Cooper walk in. And it's funny because we were sitting with Eris and we all sat there and no one really said anything. Everyone just like, everyone saw this beautiful blonde girl and then guy in a hat and we all kind of looked like, and then I went, is that Gigi Hadid? And they we were all thinking it. I was thinking that. We were like, I was just thinking that. And then we were like, I didn't it notice was. Bradley. Did you see the hat he was wearing? It was yeah, no, so No, that's random. what I, I said to you guys. Look at a guy in that hat. And no, no one really listened to me. Oh so I guess God. you were looking at Gigi at the time. Well, but like, Gigi everyone kind so of ignored me, but I was like, what's that guy's hat doing? Like, that was so, such a big hat. Look at this. And then it, I realized it was Bradley Cooper. But like, Gigi Hadid is so clean, She's girl. She was so, so perfect. Like her hair was so perfect. I can't believe we've seen her in real life. Neither. I just wish, I wish we knew. Got a better look. Like I wish I looked for longer, but I was like, I don't and want to. And then it came out that they're a couple in London, but we knew first by like an hour. Yeah, this is what we saw them dressed in. Oh, they looked exactly like that. Look at that before. hat, guys. Fashion that icon. That was the hat that I was saying. That's a weird hat. But everyone's like. Hello. Everyone's like, how can Gigi Hadid have Zayn Malik and Bradley Cooper in the same lifetime? What the That's hell? That's wild. Um, sure. Do you have any cotton buds? Uh, cotton buds. Oh! <sighs> I wonder when the pain will stop. I reckon tomorrow's my last day. Last day of the pain from the gym. Today, my right leg's absolutely fine. My left leg's still sore, but I reckon tomorrow I'm, I'm over the rest of the pain. And then we should go back to the gym. Yeah. After our hiatus. Yeah. 
Guys, I'm so embarrassed every time we go to the gym that they get that headshot of me. Yeah, same. Like, I think about it every time. It actually puts me off going to the gym. There's no one on the gym. I showed my sister just, like, I was giving a little tour. There was no one on the desk yesterday. Oh, that's good. I think there's only someone on the desk if there's, like, a class on. I hate buying a new hula. Same, I got it for Christmas, though. It's such a good Christmas present. I get a yeah. hula, like, every year I'm just like, that's such a... Hula's such a timeless bronzer that's literally outlasted every single bronzer. Yeah. I still don't know how to contour it. Like, isn't that crazy? I just bought a bronzer. So I literally don't know how to contour. Well, I literally just do two lines there. It's not that hard. Yeah, but it never blends out when I do it. I, just, it. I look muddy. Yeah, to be fair, that's how I feel sometimes. You don't need to do it. Yeah. It's fine. I can't believe I've had like 12 hours sleep, guys. I don't feel any more rejuvenated though. Like I, I feel- Having too much sleep makes me worse. Yeah, and it also stresses me out. When I woke up this morning, I saw people have been on like 20K runs this morning. And it stressed me out that everyone's been awake for like five more hours than me. No, because in my head, the world doesn't wake up until I do. <laughs> yeah, that's something like none of my business. Yeah, nothing starts till I start. I'm gonna go for a darker bl blush today. Let's see. That. Thank you. I wasn't meant to get this blush, I was meant to get the one you have, but I accidentally got this one. Uh -huh. But then I just kept it because it's actually quite nice when I've got like a darker lip. Yeah. So I don't want to do like a bright red lip and a bright pink blush. Mm, yeah. So I love having my pink blush. I have such a light skin tone though that it's like, my light one works. You know you either have like a olivey undertone mm -hmm. or like a reddy. Yeah. I think mine is like, or like yellowy, I think mine's like yellowy. Because it's, it's, I, I never have any like. But then didn't someone tell you it was pink? Yeah, but it's, it's so not. Confused. It's not. Although you go like you go red. I do go red. Which I don't think happens to a yellow person. <laughs> so I don't. Maybe, maybe a both. Like, yeah, but I just never see the red undertones. No, I don't. But I also don't see yellow. So no. I think I'm minor pink undertones. But then I did get told it was yellow, but then I was like, I think I've just got tan on. Back to Korea. <laughs> Bringing it back to Korea. Bringing it back. I really want to go. They do colour test in there. Do they? Yeah. And what, like for your see, skin tone? Yeah, and you can see what colours you suit, whether you're a spring <gasps> palette. Oh, my like, was telling us about this. I really, well. really want to do it. And I want to see if I suit silver or gold, what kind of tones I suit to wear. What, like jewellery? I never know um, whether to go in gold or silver. Yeah. Because um, I was like looking, because some people like, this is the note of my TikTok as well. Some people do celebrity ones and they're like, look how not good Margot looks here. Not that she's ever not look good, but it's just like, and look at this one. And then when she's in like her colour, she really like, like her palette, she's like the low in. Interesting. And it's like when they're like, did one of Taylor Swift and it was like when she bleached her hair so lightly like this is not for Taylor. Look at her hair. Wait two minute mark. <laughs> and then she's like glowing with the blonde hair. That's so interesting. Wait, and you can only get it done Korea? I don't know, you probably get it in here, but Can I think it's common in Korea. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if it's too expensive. I'd love to know. Yeah, same. It's kind of like an investment for life. Mm. Do you still want to go to a psychic? Are you mm. over it? Psychic system. I don't know, because I saw a psychic everyone knows in America. Yeah. And like, I don't some, know of the things haven't, she was. some of the things haven't come true. Well, no, but some, of the thing, some of the things are wrong that she's already no, said. Yeah, but I could have told you it was wrong. Yeah, I know you could have. Yeah, you well, could. That's what I mean. I don't know if that's just her though. That's I know, but I just thought, oh, okay, the psychic said that. Okay, well, didn't happen. Like, when she told you you were gonna like make a school or whatever yeah, you do. She told me I was gonna open a business to do with kids. Could happen, and maybe we'll shock ourselves. But I don't. Really yeah, see no, that well, it's not that. Like, she told me I was gonna marry this guy, and it's not happened. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. I just I. I now kind of am like, oh, bit of a scam. I'm over it. But maybe, I don't know, it might come true. Might, might, I might have met the guy of my dreams already. I don't know, they're just in my life. But I don't, it's kind of put me off going again. Because right. I'm sure what? there's better people, but like, yeah. I think I'd like to wait like five years time and see yeah. if anything comes yeah. of it. Because also you don't, I just, it's always in the back of my mind, this like psychic reading. It just is, I always think about it. I, Someone tells me and something wrong again. Yeah, I don't know. I just I, I I think I'm over it now. I think they're amazing, but I'm kind of over it. What about you? No, I've I've never really had the interest. I find it interesting. I find the topic interesting. Interesting, but like I don't think I would 
be able to cope with it with knowing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If someone um it's one of my favourite questions to ask. If someone said I will show you a 30 second trailer yeah. of your future. Shit. If someone sent it you in a document, would you play it? Good or bad? I don't know. It's just it says Brooke's future and it was a 30 second trailer. I wouldn't play it. No, I wouldn't. I'd delete it straight away. I'd be so tempted. Same, I'd have to oh play it straight away. Oh my god, I wouldn't play it. Yeah, I wouldn't play it either. That's actually I mad. Would, I know. That's mad to even think about that. I would not be able to play it. No, I don't, I don't, I also don't want to know. No, I don't I actually know. find comfort in not knowing where, where my future's going. Same. I would not like to know at all. Whereas it used to freak me out, I like to figure it out as I go. Can you imagine if five years ago they played a trailer? I'd be Jess. so confused. I'd be like, why am I doing things with Jess all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who, why, me and Brooke aren't that close. Like, why are we like together constantly? At this point, five years ago, where were we five years ago? We lived what next year to each other. Year? I think second year. We lived next to each other, but we didn't really know each other that well. I'd be like, we did, but like, we well, were in the same group, but yeah. we just, uh, we hung out with the group. And yeah. I, just, I would be like, why are me and Jess always together? Yeah, I'd be like, oh, this oh, is wait, random. Me and Jess are in New York. Why yeah. are we like? I'd be so, I'd be so confused. I would, what would oh, you predict well, if you just saw us going to all these places? What would you predict had happened? I'd be like, me and Jess really like going on holiday together. Like, oh, you think we're going on holiday? Well, I'd be. I I think at that point I'd be like, why are me and Jess always? I would. I would never think we're working together on social media. No, I would never think social media. I I would think me and Brooke have booked a musical theatre tour. We're on tour. <laughs> We're on a world tour I would genuinely think like we're on tour for like 40 seconds or something. Okay, what about in five, if, if five years before someone was like, someone showed us us at Taronga Zoo in like petting a koala in Australia? What would you think? I'd think we've taken a gap year. We <laughs> mean just taking a gap yeah. year to go. Okay, what if someone showed you us in Megan Trainers? Uh, hotel, hotel room. room. Baffled. Yeah, I would I actually have to no. Someone sits you down at college. You're sitting on the couch in the, so in the like, on a little lounge area and they right. go, Jess, just look at this a minute. Open the laptop and it's us playing with Megan Trainor's son, Riley, and, and Megan be like, hey girls, how long does it take to get here from home? We're like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. And we're both in matching hoodies. With sunglasses on them? Yeah. And do, can I see that the answer is Brookie and Jessie? No. Okay. Um, I would be so I, confused. I would be like, this isn't real. I, yeah, I'd be like, I, what honestly has happened? would not be able to comprehend that that happened. I no. still can't believe we went to Australia, but like, no, I still can't believe it. Us five years ago, I hadn't, like, I would never even think about social media. I'd be like, oh my God, we've met well, Social media, was influencers a thing then? I guess they were, right? I don't think, I don't remember going on Instagram and seeing influencers. Neither. I, I remember, remember only caring about college though. I only cared about musical theatre. Yeah, same. Point. We were like, fun. We could die hard like people, but... <laughs> Oh my god. Um, sort of thing on. Oh my god. I learned my whole life from TikTok. Like what genuinely, I find out everything on TikTok. But anyway, well, to be fair, I don't search internet anymore. I search, no, I search TikTok. TikTok. Um, I saw this thing. I don't know if it's true. It's not on my TikTok yet. The new TikTok update. It's called Flipside. Okay. And it's like. A little key or something in the corner and you press the key and it turns your Instagram into like it's still your Instagram but it's almost like a priv so it only selected Ooh. people can see what you post and stuff and it's like an alternate profile I guess Flip for your side. close friends okay I quite like that I quite like that too but then everyone's like I think they're trying to like merge like the having two accounts one a priv one a normal and everyone's like well I can't stop someone on the flip side can I? and I was like well <laughs> on my um, flip side but yeah, I think okay, that's, that's interesting. Thing. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I like it. I I just don't like it when any app changes, and then I get used mm. to it. I'm like, oh, I like it. But now. people comment like, Instagram, all we asked for was a chronological ordered feed. Is it still not that? No, it's just like it just shows you all this random stuff. I like to be real, but I, I didn't like, to be like real. how ev Instagram. Like, and then they all started doing it. Do you remember when Instagram stories got introduced and we were like, what the hell? Yeah, I was hell? a hater. Not I was like, I'm such a hater. I'm always a hater until I like it. Yeah, that's one of my toxic traits. I'm a hater first. I'm, I'm a hater first. I'm just a hater. I hate, well, but... I hate when an app changes and I'm like, what? This is so annoying. I have to get my head around it. And then I stop <laughs> saying a little yes. bit. Like, I don't post on Snapchat stories anymore. No. Although, I posted on Rookie Jesse's Snapchat story this morning. Did you? I said, oh. gonna start being on here more. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. What's with the voice? 
Good to know. But we're gonna start posting on Snapchat stories more. Let's yeah, post one right now. Us. Posting one right now. Um, Brookie and Jessie. We're gonna get Snapchat? back on our Snapchat grind because we actually love Snapchat. How many views has one before got? We got probably about five. Snapchat, I'll tell you. We got people. Oh, on? I can't see because I'm on. I'm posting from just call up. Oh, but I can't actually see how many views it's got. That's it, yeah. It's probably got like one, but like at least we're trying. <laughs> at least, at least we put one on. Yes, yeah? I'm trying. <laughs> nice with I just wanted you to know. I haven't listened to that song in a while. I need to get back into my Taylor minute. era. Like I was really I'm in not Taylor in my Taylor era. era at all. No, neither. But I, I'm in a really odd music era right now because normally when I'm getting in the shower, the biggest preparation for me is queuing the songs I want to hear. Okay. I haven't been queuing any songs at all. I've just been putting the playlist on shuffle. I love that. It's either a sign that I've just not got any favourite songs at the minute or it's a sign the playlist that you is just that good. What, Brooklyn Jessie or any other? No, my main character one. Oh, nice. Had that on go. Give it a follow. Oh, wait, well, I'm putting... I'm, I'm doing Cinematic Red. Although, I'll do this first. Um, I... Did you hear my playlist in the shower today? Yeah, Cardi and... I typed in WAP vibes just because I really wanted to have a party in the shower. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. It was up, WAP. You love um, a bit of Cardi. I love Cardi. Mm. Uh, money. When it's like, money, but I really want to see you with you. I love that oh, song. Been... Drop some no, money. No, that wasn't Lily, so this is tired. Sure. Um, and then my best friend, she a real bad mm -hmm. bitch. And then this new song. I found, oh, yeah. which I Daddy. really like, called Sugar Daddy. She came in my room to show me. I was like, Jess, guess what? Did you actually like it? Yeah, I actually did. Did you add it to the Brooklyn Jessie playlist? No, I will. New song alert coming on, guys. I haven't updated it in a while. Um, There's actually not many new songs out to even update it. It's no. not. We need a new album. I know Julie's I need got Billy. One. I need Billy to come back. When is Billy coming back? I reckon it's not going to be till like September. Actually, I was in the um, shower this morning on last night, remember? And what was I made for came on and I was just like, this song it's never, so good. ever gets old. It's so good. It's such a I good song. I hope it wins loads of awards. You know, um, I'm just can beat it, I think. What? I was, I whatever award it was. That's really sad. Apparently, I mean, again, information from TikTok. Don't know how true it is. Guys, can you believe that Greta and Margot wasn't, weren't nominated for Oscars? I can't believe what, that. What? What the heck? Especially Greta. Yeah, like she literally created the film. Well, this is the thing. Everyone's like, they made, she not? they made a film about like the patriarchy and is it mm. the patriarchy? Is that yeah, and like men and everything. And the yet man, again, the man gets the nominated. man gets nominated, it's and crazy. the women don't. Mm. You're it's our winner, from. real winners, guys. Yeah, don't worry. You got Ricky <laughs> Jesse's vote. That's all that matters. Oh, that's a good wing. Is it? Yeah, it's not. It's actually really oh. not. When, it, when you look down, it looks great. Thanks. It's actually not slaying today. Um, well, I think it'll be dark. I wonder what the vibe's gonna be. Civilized, not civilized. Well, I know we're drinking Aperol Spritz. <gasps> Are we? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, man. Sounds like all type of art can. It sounds like party. a party and Jesse party. Anyone know about Aperol Spritz? We all know. We love Aperol Spritz. Yeah, my best friend. I showed him. Real bad bitch. Robin, American friend, and I brought spritz. She was like, "What is that?" When I got, when I ordered it, and I was like, "Do you like it?" Yeah, she was. I was like, "Do you want to try it?" She, she was like, "What does it taste of?" And I was like, "It's like kind of like bitter, bittersweet." But anyway, she was like, "Get me one of those." Oh my God, I was like, she she liked, liked it. Yeah, she looked it. Oh, it makes me happy. But they must have drank them in America, I guess. Well, I got an Aperol Spritz recently, and someone went, "Oh, that's a bit summery." I was like, "Aperol Spritz for all times of year, thank you." Yeah, Aperol Spritz an all year round thing. <laughs> Don't um, judge me. I didn't think it's summery at all. It, I know we had it a lot in summer. We had it a lot in summer, and it, it looks like a summery drink. Yeah, I, like just... when I picture apple spritz, I'm not picturing it in the winter cold. I'm picturing it in the yeah, summer. It's also, not like a thing where it's like just summer. No. no also, no. I showed my American friend a baby Guinness. I love baby and Guinness. They were baffled. Really? They were like, "What? Wonder like it's not. It can't be a strong shot that can it? No. Oh, it's not at all. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like tequila rosé. It's just like a lovely like little girl. It's drink. so nice. It's a girl dinner. I love it. It's like I love a baby Guinness. It's I've never tried like, actual Guinness though. Oh, I tried one in Ireland and it was disgusting. Yeah, it looks gross. But 
the baby Guinnesses, guys. They're just like, it's like your way out of doing a shot because you don't get really drunk and you're just like, oh, this is cute. This is like a, a little yeah, you just cute kind of sweet drink. drink. Yeah, you participate in the shots, but you don't get like tequila rosé, literally. Hung, like hungover. I'm, oh, wait, I was gonna say, I was gonna say I'm gonna get a margarita tonight, but obviously I'm putting my orders in the house. But <laughs> like we're at uh, <laughs> someone's house. But Can I get margarita? Time, next time I go out, I'm gonna get a margarita again because I really yeah, no, you see that. wanna be a tequila girl. You know what um, I find really hot and sexy? What? When someone says, on the rocks? Sing. But when he asked me for my margarita order, he's like, on the rocks and there's a salt around him. And I was like, Sorry? Yeah, I didn't know what to say. But maybe we should research it. I think I need to research before I next order one. But but imagine, I was like, what? I was normal. Imagine being late for a dinner and you sit that and you take your fur coat off and you go, Marguerite on the rocks. Yes, yeah, so I'm On fine. the rocks? And so my understanding is that on the rocks is with ice. Yes, it is. So I could be like, tap water on the rocks. <laughs> tap water on the rocks. <laughs> Let's order everything on the rocks. Wait, what, what, you, on the rocks you just thing. want ice? Rocks. <laughs> Nice. Rocks. <laughs> Can I have a glass of rocks? <laughs> I think that's loud. I don't know how anyone do it. <laughs> you know how some people crave rocks when they're pregnant? Rocks. Roxy. <laughs> but like, I, that's one of those things that feel illegal, but it isn't. No, you, and people like, it feels it very mean. wrong. Can I just have some rocks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. I've got some of the rocks, please, tonight. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing that all the time. <laughs> Wait, you want an iced coffee? Iced coffee on the rocks, please. <laughs> No, because you're not saying iced coffee, you'd just be like, oh yeah, coffee on the rocks. Coffee on the rocks. <laughs> Can I have a vanilla oat latte on the rocks? <laughs> vanilla oat latte on the rocks, please. I'm not doing that. 100%. <laughs> New funny. era. New era. We'll never do it again. We always watch this back. When I'm editing as well, sometimes we're like, well, let's do that all the time now. And I'm watching it back to edit, I'm like, we've not done that. Yeah, we like to get carried away. Yeah. But I think the rocks thing is kind of... Or like sometimes we're like, let's talk in an Australian accent all day. And then five minutes later, we've forgotten. We get really bored. Nice. We get bored really quickly is, is what happens. <laughs> you need to let that on the rocks, please. I'm getting some wrinkles under my eyes. Here. Yeah. Same. Are we hitting that age? Or are we just tired? We're hitting puberty. <laughs> <laughs> are we hitting puberty? I just hit puberty. This is what it looks like. I'm being so slow. Oh, same, we've got ages. Not so long, but it is getting dark. I'm going to put my hair up. I feel like that's going to take me a while. Yes, I never yeah. have my hair up for events. But 2024, oh, this is another in. The start. You know, you said, like, change up your hairstyle. I'm not going to change up my hair just yet, but I'm going to change up my hairstyle. I'm going to force yeah, myself. I think that's good. So you can try a different thing. Well, this is my safety blanket. Yeah. And that's what I realised when I had my hair cut, is that I really use my, sa my hair as my safety yeah. blanket. I'm gonna start putting it up. Good. Can you suit it? Oh, oh it's, it's really long. dark. Should I put on the light? Yeah, put on maybe put on that lamp. Oh, I don't like that lamp. Really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how's that? Do you want to assess it? It's like fine. Ooh. I guess it's fine. It's fine. We'll just do it. Ooh. Sorry, guys. If we look probably like. It's oh, it's not really our fault. <laughs> Oh, this like, kind of changes my whole look now. I thought I was like really doing well. Yeah, I always get humbled when that happens. I'm, I'm literally tonight. I'm gonna go to Abby. Um, she's gonna be like, do you want any like, like have a drink? Yeah, can I get tap water on the rocks? I'm just gonna say it really yeah, seriously. seriously. Okay. Yeah. Tap water on the rocks, please. On the rocks, please. I'm really thirsty. And someone gives me like a, just a normal one. On the rocks. On the rocks. On the rocks. What? What is the opposite on the rocks? Dry. I didn't say dry. Dry water. Because he asked for my margarita if I wanted dry or not. And I was like, well, I don't know what you're on about, so. <laughs> Can I get a dry tap water? <laughs> and then, no, and then if you don't want to dry it, instead of on the rocks, sometimes you put it up and say, wet, please. <laughs> Can I have a wet water? <laughs> no, we actually need to learn the terminology of yeah. that. Did you ever see that thingy on TikTok? It was like, was it asking if water's wet or something? No. I don't see anything on TikTok. That was ages ago. I don't still want to get what people are asking. What is, what, is water wet? I don't know. Or is it a, a fish wet or something? I don't know. Interesting. Mm. It might have been a fish. Do you know what one of my favourite quotes is? What? I think Albert Einstein said it. It's in personality time. <laughs> he said, if you judge a fish, something like this, if 
You judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree. It'll live its whole life thinking it's stupid. Oh, makes so, sense. Again. so if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life thinking it's stupid. But it's not. But it's not because it can swim so well, but that's what people... I remember, I think I shared it in GCSE time, because <laughs> I was like, you're judging me on my maths, but like, I can do all these other <laughs> things. I think I was trying to be inspirational, but like, how true is that? You can't judge everyone on the same thing. Yeah. Because everyone has different talents. That's why GCSEs, I get them, but they are a little bit stupid. I actually love that. Because some people are so much smarter in other ways of the world. It will spend its whole life thinking it's stupid. How sad is that quote? That's really I think sad. Albie. Albie. Einsteiny. Albie's Dainy. Aww, I love that. I miss Stein. Shout out. Shout out to Miss Stein. <laughs> Albert Miss Stein. Do we leave that in? Yeah. Wait, what happened? Albert. Ruth. Who's <laughs> that? Her name is Ruth. Miss Stein. Aww. Guys, we used to have a ball ballet teacher called Miss Stein. Yeah, I wonder if they still do, do that. ballet on balls, on big balls. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did. We used to do ballet on balls. <laughs> If you're not lying. Like, to were you good at our core? I was really good at ball ballet. Oh, yeah. Because I had like quite good core, but like when it came to actual like feet stuff, I weren't good. <laughs> we had to do like foot exercises as well, like for yeah. half the lesson, and that's when I really. That's when really I thrived. Didn't my toes well. got used to this demonstration. Oh, see, I could yeah, never do that. Piano toes. Toes. Yeah, piano toes. I was sick at that. You had to lift your toes up and put them down one by one. We had to do that in a big circle. See, I. And I, she was I, like, watch just I just would do this. Because all my feet come. Is that genuinely you trying to do piano toes? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Because all my feet are. But like, you thrived at the ball ballet. Ball ballet was like my thing. <laughs> What's your favourite subject in college? Ball ballet. For ball sure. ballet. No, I actually like, everyone used to complain about, but I actually loved it. It was actually good for you, like you core. You had it first. You had it first. Ball, like, ball, 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 ball ballet is like ballet in this year. Ball ballet. Imagine you said that on that. Imagine what in in this year I'm gonna go back to college and do ball ballet. Posted us in the dance in the studio downstairs doing ball work. We catch cut the apples. No, we Let's do it next week. We we'll take you guys along. It. It's actually hard. Like it's, it's really, so hard. It's really hard. So we're not slating. Probably got a strong. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> That's another thing. All over my few pages, it's like Jennifer Coolidge singing different songs. AI. What? I don't know. I like your Jennifer Coolidge top. Oh, where is that? I don't know. That must be in a drawer somewhere. I love this makeup bag. Yeah, it's so nice. I feel like it's so me. Because I'm a star. Bitch, <laughs> I'm a star. I'm a star. Did you see the moon last night? Full moon. No. Full moon. Yep. I'm a star. My mum doesn't do yoga on a full moon day. Seriously. She can't practice. Why? It's not allowed. Why? She's not allowed. Oh, Ask Mandy. I don't know. Is that her rule? Or no, it's the like rule the yoga, yoga rule. Can't you can't do yoga. Yeah. No me. way. I don't believe no, that. No, it's, it's true. Mum, tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Can you message Jess right now when you're watching this? Message on the group, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, guys, we have a group with our mums. <laughs> Mum has it made it. Brooke and Jessie, or like I don't know what's called. Mum, but yeah, it's though. it's like us and our mums. How cute is that? that chat all the time. It's like we. The, Group chat's popping off. Twenty twenty seven. Always flowing ideas. <laughs> <laughs> ideas left, right, and centre. Which um, lip liner does she use on me? Do you know? So was it who? Savage Rose? Charlotte. Oh, I don't know. No, neither. It's not a cinematic brow. I need to go and get mine. I need to see if I've got a brown liner. I'm gonna try and do a brown thing. I don't know if the lip liners mark of a kiss like match the oh. shade names. So that's cinematic red. I know the lipstick was cinematic red, but. I went crazy over you. Dun, 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 dun. Over you, over yeah. you. Um, Why do I use? I think I've got these liners from Shaz. I think this one. I'm gonna use red carpet red. Nice. I'm gonna use. I went crazy. Lip. Oh no, that's, that's cool. Ha Hollywood honey. Cute. I like that name. I love the name she gives to stuff. I want to know what it's like in the drawing room with Charlotte. She's like, I bet it's crazy. Darling, so I'm thinking red Hollywood, cinematic red or cinema. I quite like an excuse to do something a bit different with my makeup because I always find like 
feel a little bit self-conscious when I do something a little bit different. Yeah, but if it's for a theme, yeah, you're like, what, well, okay, well, I have an excuse. So true. Sometimes when we're out about in London, we, like, just will hold out her phone so just people can see her wallpaper that is Lalisa. Like, so hopefully, like, a Blackpink fan yeah, will just I do. bring it up. I do it all the time. I do, I played John Cookout really loud the other day, like, in the lift, just hoping, like, we could bond over something. Yeah, I do it all the time for, like, different people. I just want them to know, to be fair, it's not Lisa at the minute since I got a new phone. We changed it. Oh yeah, it's Coachella. Yeah. No, it's not anymore. Now it's black pink. Oh. The four of them, but you can't see their face because they're in the shadow. Okay. Change it every now and again. I love changing my lock screen, but I'm never happy with it. Yeah, no, me neither. That's the same as like a profile picture. Yeah, I'm never happy with my profile picture. I hate picture. like I hate mine at the minute, but I also like I will just never like it. I feel like it's also a big deal to change your profile yeah. pic. I don't have to be, but like in my head, it's no. Like, but in my Whoa. head, it is because it's what people recognise you as. Like I always notice when someone's changed theirs. I'm like, oh, yeah. You're like, oh, who's that? Big alert! Because I'm used to seeing their profile picture view my story or whatever. How do you contour lips? What bit do you do? Is it dark in the middle? No, I don't think so. That's what I've done. <laughs> oh. I think it's like the Zoe Fish conceals the middle. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try that. Cinematic red. I feel so elite when I do a brush on my lips. Oh, I didn't even do mascara. I hate feeling like I've got loads of makeup on. Why oh, do you feel like that? No, no. Just, it just reminded me like when I, sometimes I do it too much and then I feel yeah. really cakey. Cake, 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 cake. It's a piece of cake, 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 cake. Oh, I missed what? that song. I haven't listened to that in ages. Who was that? G Idol? No. It's he. Oh, really wow. good. I love a thin brush on a mascara. Charlotte Tilbury's is so good. Oh my god, that's so thin. It's the same vibe as Tilbury's for a while. Yeah. I get mascara absolutely everywhere when I do it. Sometimes I do watch the back that when we're like watching the vlog before it goes out, I like watch this and like I literally like screaming at the vlog, being like, "What are you doing?" Same. Like so frustrating sometimes. Do you ever guys ever feel like that? Always. <laughs> I also feel like. <laughs> Uh, it's actually good. We've learned to like look at our videos as not us because I used to look at it like me and be like, "Oh, what am I doing? Like, that's so embarrassing what I'm doing." But now I just watch it as if I was watching yeah, someone I watch else. Which I, a, like. I like I watch it as a whole. I like removing myself from it. Yeah, that's a skill. Yeah, it took me a while. Yeah, we met someone on the same floor as us because we were trying to oh, yeah, we trying not. to work the hob, but we didn't know how to. So I knocked. How's the battery dying when it's been on charge? Mm -hmm. It was on green light. I um I knocked on the door of our neighbour and I said, Can you help us use the hob? And he was like, Uh yeah, okay. He was like <laughs> he came over. And he came over and he looked at us all and he was like, This is so random that I'm in your flat. And we were like, <laughs> Yep, it is. We're like, yeah, can you help us with the hub? And like it was just locked. Yeah. But all he did was press on. He was like, mm, that's what I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the Madison beer palette recently. Madison beer has a palette. Yeah, it's really nice. Since when? With who? ages, Morphe. When did she do that? Ages ago, I've had it for like years, but I just haven't used it. I think Manny Ziggler did one because I always wanted it. Yeah. I got that Lottie for a birthday actually, I think, one year. Oh. I used to like the Muddy Glow Stick. I think I just like it because I, I think we bought that together. Oh yeah. Yeah, but actually, I don't know if it was that big. So. No, I just liked it because it was Muddy, so. I just love having someone's merch or someone's thing that I like. Yeah. I just feel elite. You're like, I'm a hardcore fan. I'm done. Same. We actually always time our makeup at the same time without realising. Five seconds. Okay. Let's try and do more pair. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back. No! Ready? Mob wife chic. It's my OOTD. I kind of hate the shoes, but I didn't have any others. <laughs> I have no black shoes, or I do, but I couldn't find them. I need to find my eyeliner, actually. Did I pack it in my bag? How cute these earrings and cinematic red. So, this is all makeup station. Um, I'm gonna get back on my disposable camera height, so I've got that as well with me. Uh, did I pack? I knew I could thank past Jess, and I'm just waiting for Brooke. But, um, how cute these tights, little stars. I'm using you as a mirror. I'm ready. Let's wait to show you Brooke. Hey. Hey. I couldn't find 
Yeah. Yeah. Glasses. I wanted to find some of the only ones I have are my mother ones. But it, it works. You've taken them. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, mob wife. My wife. This should be warm. Um, yeah, we decided we're not taking our coats off because I feel like the coats make the outfit. Yeah, and like we both hate our outfit underneath, so we are gonna be warm all night. Yeah, anyway, I'm ready to go. My wife's ready. Do you want to do an outfit reveal? I mean, it's, I've, it's literally just this. Jess has stars on her tights, and I have polka dots and shoes, and and we're ready to That's be my wives. Catch you later. See you guys.